fail. When you go to the doctor's office and you say to him, I hurt here and I hurt here and I throw up every time I eat steak. And he says to you, then you need to do this and you need to do this and take this pill and that'll be $75 for your copay. He doesn't apologize to ask for the sale. He's just helped you solve your problem. Your prospect comes to you because you wooed them and told them, I know how to fix your problem. But then you don't ask for the sale. Guess what you've done? You've educated them and you've empowered them to go buy from somebody else. Because now they're shopping. But you didn't offer them the sale. It's like, it's like you're dating this person 14 or 15 times and you never move in for the kiss. Or hold their hand. They're going to start thinking something's wrong with them or that you can't deliver. He's like, why should Does that make sense? Does that help you understand that? If you don't deliver, if you woo somebody and woo somebody, you get in love with the idea of them as a prospect. But if you don't close the sale, you are letting them down. If you go to the doctor and he says, well, this is wrong with you and this is wrong with you and this is wrong with you. <laughs> what do I do to fix it? But they don't necessarily want to ask you because it's uncomfortable. Did you feel that uncomfortable pause? You don't necessarily want to ask, what do I do to fix it? You know, they, they, don't, they shouldn't have to ask, what next? You should be comfortable saying, and so, this is how I can help, or this is how my firm helps, or this is the, typically the three ways I work with clients on this. It doesn't have to be salesy. It doesn't have to be yucky.